Welcome back to Let's Play NG! A lot of cop cars in Kentucky. Probably because, you know, there was a dog killed last night. Well, thankfully it took a long time to scrub those handprints off our windows, so... Uh, I think enough time has passed. Hey, I'm Atsumi! H how's, uh... Crippling despair and grief? Oh, you're drinking. Oh, dear. Maybe a little. She trips over three empty bottles. If we had a game just based on Aunt Natsumi's just... <laughs> absolutely... Grief-stricken story. <laughs> I think it would. It, it wins several awards. Can't keep food down. Drinks all the time. Doesn't even talk to her to her adopted son anymore. Maybe it can be published by Ubisoft and be an artsy fartsy sad game. This war of mine too. Colon Aunt Natsumi. Who is she calling? I've got a few friends who oh. would like to converse with me. We gotta get this kid back. She's killing herself. Mm hmm. Crippling depression's a bitch. That'd be interesting. Go through the database and see how many line up with our current situation. Huh. Kids dis kids disappearing. Huh? Some as recent as six months ago. A lot of kids disappearing. Uh, UDJ, are we in dairy? No, we're not. Oh, well, alright. Well, let me just say, uh... That's the next- Oh, shit! What? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Why? S silly controller. <laughs> Those kids missing. Might have something to do with the next chapter. Ooh, okay. Uh, here's Mother Hashi. He's I off. Told you anyway. He's off doing something extra important. But he's a bit of a ditz, so uh Let's just say he would lose his head if it wasn't attached. Right in the face. More munch! Ugh. <laughs> oh, we gotta make another prayer, dude. I mean, Manju's fine and all, but it's, like, really... It's, it, it's kind of savory because of the bean paste. I, I need you to join my fan club. Because not only do I have an idol fan club, I also have a Manju fan club. And I would really like you to join it, please. Oh god, a Manju idol. <laughs> it's just a big advertising ploy for the mom and pa shop down the street. It's like Rise hiding out in Inaba where she's selling tofu. Yesterday he kept me up till like 4 a.m. God, a lot of these ghosts are just like jerks. They come into your apartment unannounced. They just pound on your window at 4 in the morning. So, so if I age about ten more years, cut off my arms, she'll flirt with me. Okay. Done. <laughs> what? 
Huh? <laughs> uh. www.findmyfuckingsister.com I think I know what she means. If that's the if that's the case, then coding is just like creating a complex magical spell, isn't it? Wizardry. We're playing magic right now. Yes. Actually, I've seen what people can do just by changing a few lines of code, and it's actually ridiculous. It basically is wizardry. You have to account for so many extra variables when it comes to coding. Yeah. God. I mean, you have to think of not only scenario A, but also scenario B through Z. And then beyond. Just in case. And beyond, yeah. So, uh, we found a hidden website in the dark web! What? Actually, it's more like an unlisted video on YouTube, kind of, but... There's the truth about Kubitaro. He was a large man who lived back when Kentucky was called Kentucky Village. A vicious murderer, he killed numerous people and animals, chopping off their heads. That's the established theory regarding Kubitaro. However, that is not the truth. <sighs> this writer believes Kubitaro was... A large girl of superhuman strength born to the landowner of Kentucky what? Village. She was dull-witted but violent, and it appears true that she chopped off animals' heads for fun. But she did attack people. Not people. Residents considered her a bother, but couldn't complain due to her station. Behind her back, they called her Kubitaro for her large stature and violent nature. There's a reason why the truth warped into the rumor of a large man who's a vicious murderer. Apparently, Kubitaro did something that touched on the taboo of the village. Such as killing animals. And that's how Kubitaro died. Her father silenced oh. the village with a gag order in order to hide the family's shame. Time passed, the truth stayed hidden, and from the scraps of info, a vicious murderer was born. That's the truth behind the rumor of Kubitaro that the people of Kentucky believe today. Interesting. So do you think uh, she messed with the sacred grounds sacred trees more like <laughs> probably but how do you think installed an electrical tower gotta think about how long ago this was too back when it was well, called okay. Kentucky Village that must have been like no oh, yeah at, hundreds at yeah. But not even hundreds could have been like you know in the 40s or 30s even oh well okay maybe, so a, maybe long... a bit earlier maybe a bit later Long time ago, maybe we're going with the scenario that was already in film, pissed on the sacred tree. But the the animal decapitation, I still don't understand that one. Well, uh... Again, when we're dealing with these spirits, we have to think... We have to be sympathetic towards them, you know? Okay. So there's something to... Kubitaro. There's a reason why she's doing all this. We gotta find Maybe. the reason. We gotta find the source. We gotta purify her. Uh, you're not allowed to eat manju in the village. Uh, Kubitaro has been updated. That's not it. a man, a large girl, superhuman, landowner's daughter. Did something taboo, kept secret to hide shame. Unconfirmed if she has human heads or not. I guess we're gonna have to check and find out. Maybe she accidentally killed somebody by pushing them down the well? Maybe? Death is sort of taboo. <laughs> or murder, specifically. Still a lot of cops here, though. Eh. Okay, current objective, stay alive. We have to open that well. That's kind of the big thing we gotta oh, do. Oh no! We gotta look in the well. Uh, the bloody no. stinky well. No, I don't want any more turtles. <laughs> open up the well, and it's just year-old Manju. <laughs> God, all these rotten beans. troublesome little thing. What did you bring with you? They call it a bolt cutter, N-double. Nope. They call it a gun. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. He's he's Yakuza. What do you expect? Forty-five, huh? But it's got like the it's got like SOP on it or something. An adult safety lock. Oh, they're shadows. Perfect. This will work. Just A plus with the cognition. It's not for them, it's for us when things get too bad. Oh yeah, we'll just shoot the spirit away. <laughs> Looks so, like a deranged person. Let's not get caught with our gun now, eh? <laughs> well, let's begin the trek. Down to Katoki Tower. Who are we taking with us this time? Hmm. Down Let's to see. Katoki Tower. Kind of figured Amanome, okay. yeah. Still stick with Amanome. Again, the cops there and all. They really want her with us. Besides, he's got the gun. Here, Hazuki, I'm giving you the gun since you're helping N double with his investigation. <laughs> Get there, the cops go, What's that? It's a gun! Alright. Let's go. Off to Kentucky Tower with my bestest friend. Off to Kentucky Tower, so we don't meet a gruesome end. Down to Kentucky Tower where I exercise. The ghost so they won't kill me and we'll look inside the well. I haven't been to the gym in a long time. I need to train. Cue the training montage for N Double and Seiji. We're getting off track. Oh my god, that was a train joke. I hate you. Oh, spam. Oh, it's D-Man again. Search the monster that holds up the sky. The monster? Holds up the sky? Atlas? The hell is it? Hmm. Don't worry, Amanome. It's plot relevance. Oh, is it really here? I gotta go all the way back. Really? The monster that holds up the sky. Oh my god. What are these colors? Jesus. It's not the sky, D man. So here's our third D card. Urban legends have fascinated people for years. There's a noble one that goes back to the 70s. A spirit known as Leonard appears as a clown doll dressed in red and blue. Each person sees him in a different spot. School, etc. When Leonard approaches, a uh, man wakes up and leaves for home work. All these passes on the bus stop. Bus arrives and empty. And he's suspicious for his bus stop. Driver approaches, looks for a mannequin clown. Let's Leonard. The clown grins. Oops, it's another lost one. Suddenly he wakes up surrounded by the usual crowd of bus he stop he's used to. The rumor is that what happens when one accidentally slips through the time and space into a parallel world. The identity of the clown or truth behind the phenomena is unknown. Huh. It's like, oops, looks like somebody wandered it into the spirit world. Put him back. I don't know, Can you imagine being the ghost of like a scary clown and your name is Leonard? Maybe that's what Large Marge was. She was no, just, just a... she was helping Pee Wee get back to the to the real world because he uh, inadvertently traversed into the spirit world. Ah, so if you accidentally step into the spirit world. A nice okay. clown will put you on his bus and take you back. Uh, uh. What, is there something on my face? I never did understand the, like, scare factor of clowns. They're just unnerving. I guess, It, but, it depends I mean, on the clown, too. Only if you make them look scary. Like, if you're looking at a stereotypical clown, I'm just like, oh, hey. Oh, shit. <sighs> There's a cop there. You don't want to alert the cop. Okay, uh, Amanome, I need you to run distraction. Just run into a different, like, side alley and start shooting the gun. Wow, reception is really bad out here. We might actually be okay. 
Put your gun down, idiot. In the trash cans. Oh, I think that's where we're at. Uh oh. What are we going to do, N double? Killed another dog. Damn. There's probably no more dogs left in the city. Someone cleaned it up, though. Which means that those. whatever they clean it up with has. Something on it. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah! Okay, yeah. Time to read the dead dog. Let's go! Man, this game is making me say things I don't think I've ever wanted to say ever. Let's read the dead dog. Let's touch the dead dog's blood. Oh, hey, look at Turtle Babyface. What? Oh, yeah. It was clean with rags, and so the rags have blood on them. Ta-da! Let's touch it! Let's touch it! God, we're probably gonna get like a, a a dog's eye view of this lovely, lovely woman. And transported to the blood realm. Let's go! <laughs> You know, I would love to see the voice actress in the, in the booth doing oh, yes. this. After the great Jiro Kintoki, come on the Izayoi! Off to the great Jiro Kintoki to make mom feel better. Oh, verse two. So it's crying more than laughing, so... Good to hear that singing in your nightmares, by the way. You're welcome. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's not like I already had trouble sleeping. Oh my god, there's a dog in the background. The sound design is amazing. <laughs> Oh no! It actually did stop. How dare you? Hmm. Need to head back to the arcade real quick. It just felt like you were slowly walking back, like, okay, well, now we've seen what the dog saw, and let's head back. Cardboard. Anything else in here? Uh, trash can, trash can. Oh. And What's this? And blood splatter. Utility knife and packing tape. What? It's very important that we looked in this trash can. For one of those two items is going to help purify Kubitaro. Oh, good. Packing tape. <laughs> Enough of your singing! Ooh, they, perfect! They chopped off the cop car's head! No! It's missing its engine! Or would that be the the top of the car? I don't even know. It could be like the the head of the engine, perhaps? Maybe, because all of a sudden they'd have a moonroof. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a dial combination lock. Easy.
Now, remember, don't alert any cops. And the gun goes off. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, dude. Safety was on. Well, might as well check. Maybe you can find a clue as to open this. Oh, the combination was inside the Manju all along. Nothing's on the back of the sign. Something on the back of the shrine itself. That's a Shinto priest note. Oh, cool. When an Otara's age inquire of Jiro. Eh. Eh. Otara's age must be talking about... The numbers of the combination lock! That must be it! Oh, oh my god! I'm glad we're such smart boys. So the ages... Of the two trees equal somehow the combination lock. <laughs> okay, time to figure out the age of trees. But hey, you're not here to figure shit out, you're here to get shit done. So, uh, yeah. You're gonna have to, uh, put my, put my, look at it here. Fucking. Oh. Come on, man. No. Uh, there we go. Come on. Right. There we go. If you want to know the age of Inquirer Zero, it's written on a small brush. Yeah. Alright. So. You want to pause it? So got one more thing we got to get over here. Oh, it's the cure to haunting. Perfect. Kind of feels like the shrine did over there. It feels familiar. Oh, this is where the priest hid it. So this must be for Jiro then. Oh, cool. Let's see. I got here. Yeah, look around. Um, Deface a shrine. Aha! Ooh. There's something written here. Buy more the Ovaltine. Song, offer humble prayer. The two gods will bless. Multiply the numerals given by the waxing moons. Moon! That's all of it. So, it's basically a puzzle now. You want to figure out... Okay. You, you, you want to figure out how to... How to... Open up the, the lock. You gotta, like, multiply... I forget what numbers. I think it might have been in the song, like, 15 and 16 or something like that. Something like that. That, I, I think, you know, uh, something like that. What, yeah, whatever. It's, it, it ain't no thing. File's been updated. The poem helps us get into the well. Let's get in that well already. So wait, we only have one half of the puzzle, right? Or did I just, like, blank out there for a minute? Doesn't matter. Well, okay, you got me there. But we got one more thing here. It's Pixie a little dust. dog pouch. Oh! It's a little baggie shaped like a doggy head. Oh! I was about to say, can we attach it to a dog and he'll be safe? No? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. You're going to give the dog head to the ghost. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. <laughs> But hey, as long as it works. Alright. Oh, put up the combo lock. Yes. Children's Song of the Tonka. With the clues. Multiply them together. Something or other. Look so, up a guy because no one's gonna, you know, what's gonna happen is that people are gonna get to this part to realize, I don't want to do this shit. But look up the answer. So, in the ones, we have zero. And then, and then three. Four. What? And then two. Two forty. Wait. Two forty? Yes. 
Didn't you start with a zero? We start with the ones. Then oh. the tens, then the hundreds. Oh, jeez, I didn't... We went, we, went, we went right to left. God, I didn't even read that. There's nothing in here, though. It was a waste of time. Oh, look at all those heads. Wow! Hmm. Well, this should be easy. So you just take the dog head thing you found and just toss it in there. What about that dog on the right there? That looks real. Oh, that is the actual dog head. Shit! There's no severed human heads. That's 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 good. Uh, that's good. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How do you even respond to that? Just look at one another and go, yeah, okay. What's that one Forner song? Head games. <laughs> can't take it anymore. Head oh no! Speaking of can't take it anymore, it's time to bring on Kubitaro, baby. That's that's not Foreigner. Huh? Bring on Kubitaro, baby. Uh oh. This is right now. And right in your face. Hey. I don't like it. I don't like this. Hey, Kubitaro. Um, I like your collection. Yeah, I found your collection. A lot of great heads there. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, it's no. It's just the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Look, it's so happy to see us, too. Oh no. Hey, there. How you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Let me get a better look at you. Yeesh. Oh, don't go away. She doesn't care too much for flashlights. It's time or, for a right jump all. scare. Where'd she go, though? She get out of here when we get the chance, and maybe then we- go. Ah! I was right! <laughs> oh, that's like actual human teeth I'm seeing there. Ugh. She stuffed her cheeks like a squirrel! Oh, shit! Oh, boy! My flashlight! Oh, ho, ho. If you look closely, you can see that there's, it's like glitching a little bit. Like, look at her shoulder. Mm -hmm. Nice effect. I'll bet the smell is indescribable. <laughs> Do ghosts even smell? Depends on what kind of ghost. Like, I don't think uh, Yuri smelled at all, but I'm pretty sure that. She smells terrible. Uh, head. He you want head? Uh, uh, sure. I just got, I got a head. one. I got a head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, the one attached. I got a head. One attached to my neck. That's mine. But uh, no, 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 this no, no, one right yeah, here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a head. How convenient that you had this. Survival escape! <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, this is... This is the end? Oh, uh, I guess not yet, technically. Okay, uh... Uh... How do I select? Uh, nothing to... Right there. Oh, there it is. Ah! ah! What was that? Yeah, what was that? Okay, okay, so, uh, here, dog, dog pouch. 
dog. All for you. Take it. Here you go. Yeah, it is kind of funny, isn't it? Oh, I just got chills. All right. Uh, hey, I'm a no me. Time to I'm a go, me. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh God, run! So that's a beginner's trap, is what I'm understanding about this, right? I think there's a couple of trial and error pits here. Like, oh, you should have got that thing way back there before you came here. You better have explored everything. I mean, it's not like they told you to explore everything that they went over once before already two times over. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh. Look, I'm just saying, Hazuki, it's not every day that you have to give head to a ghost. Wait. Sorry, g g give, give a, a, a head, head to a ghost. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's stay one step ahead of the ghost, and you know what? I'm gonna drop this. They should make me president after this. Make me head of state. I think what Kubitaro needs is just a bunch of big letters at the at the top of the document. A header. A header. Yes. So I'm gonna have to go back in this footage and see what the like blink of text was on the screen for that moment. Was it just a jump I'm pretty scare? sure I think it's just a bunch of conscious saying, you know, die, die, death, okay. kill, death, die, hate, death, kill, hate. Hates death. It was very effective because being in a foreign language and red automatically means it's scary. See, I think that's one of the things you get for scary mode, you know? <laughs> just just really, a lot of gibberish on the screen. So I really can't tell you uh, what the difference between scary mode and normal mode is and none, because maybe there's like less jump scares. I don't know what kind of jump scares are cut out, though, so I, I really don't know. Every time you do a screen transition, there's like a little ghost in the corner. You can't quite see it, but yeah. That'd be just that'd just be overkill, really. Mm -hmm. They have some sort of jump scare at every single turn. I'm just thinking that, of like 2004 Flash games. Because you're, you're noticing something about this about, about this uh, game. It's not quite as uh, edge of your seat terrifying as Deathmark is, but the thing about NG is that you're always not quite safe ever. You're always on edge. It's like, because you know something's going to come, but then it doesn't come. But then it comes when you don't expect it. There's also a lot more interactions with the ghosts, I think, between uh, this game and Deathmark. Because Deathmark, it was always like, hey, here's a bunch of buildup, here's a bunch of buildup, you might see something in the background. And then you automatically know when you're about to do the final fight with the ghost because, oh, the mark hurts so bad. This one, I actually thought you were going to exercise that ghost right then and there. But the mounds haven't appeared yet. Well, I know. I'm trying to the give it credit here. No, zoom in quick to the books. So maybe Aunt Natsumi again has anything on Kubitaro. She's got all the cre all these creepy stories and crime reports and all this stuff like that. Just, just it's her inspiration. Shelf, I guess. So you got three to look at, but uh, spoiler warning: it's the it's the uh, yellow one that you're looking at. I would love if Aunt Natsumi just started writing like really cringeworthy jokes in here, like Kobe Taro, more like Cutie Taro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, right. Mm, thanks, Auntie. Here's what you need to fight that doggone spirit! Oh, she's got a million of them. Maybe this is why she's heavy binge drinking now. Anyway, that's all the time I have for now. I better head out! 
If you think that could exercise the ghost, you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> During my investigation, I obtained a journal which reveals the truth about the Kentucky Cedars. Ooh, despite a Kentucky village wide gag order, the journal's writer tried to leave a record of it. Hmm. According to the journal, one of the sacred Kentucky Cedar Trees tower was chopped down! I saw that coming. It was done by Kaneko, daughter of the Oishi family, who owned the land the village yep. was on. Yep, killed a tree. Kaneko suffered from oxopia and symptomatic obesity and was considered a nuisance by her family. Jesus. Without a proper education, her mental state and intelligence didn't measure up to other children. As a result, it seems she believed a bear plushie to be her little brother. Ooh. However, during a certain incident, the plushie was destroyed and her little brother died. Oh my god. Bereft Kaneko thought to bring him back to life by following the Kentucky Cedars children's song. Hey, 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 oh hey, no! Hey, 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 oh no! Hey, 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 hey. She put she tried to put the song into practice, but misunderstood its meaning, the head part. Oh! She always jumbled the lyrics and thought they offered heads. <laughs> Which meant she believed that her brother would be brought back by offering heads of the trees! Oh, no! So she cut off the heads of livestock and stray dogs and offered them to the Kentucky Cedars! Oh, that's so messed up! It didn't work. Oh, no! So she stole an axe and chopped down the tree. Oh, my God! That's pretty taboo. <laughs> so she tied her to tied her to the other tree, and then she starved on that tree. Holy fuck! Why? Why is this awful? She kept asking about her little brother, her little brother, her little brother. Why do people gotta be assholes? They just create angry spirits out of them! God, that's worse than my original scenario. Fucking hell! That's why you're not writing these games. <laughs> I'm too predictable. Ah. Again, these guys are watching the right horror movies and reading the right horror novels to come up with stuff like this. You know, you said I should have sympathy for the ghosts. Well, a, a mentally off girl being hung up to a tree because she thought her bear was her brother is actually very sad. So, obviously we found the source, right? Great. All we gotta do is just get, bring her little brother back, wherever that thing is. It's gonna be a little tough. Maybe. Yeah, especially if this was like ages ago. Well, not ages, but years and years ago. Decades ago, at least. So, Kaneko is Kubitaro. Well, it definitely makes a lot more sense. I wonder why it was chained up, though. Does that get explained? What, the well? Yeah. It's probably to keep... It probably doesn't work anymore. It's probably dry, so stay out of it. Makes sense. It's dry and old and dangerous, and get the fuck out of it, kids. Oh, also, there's a bunch of charms around it, so they probably thought that's why Kubitaro was showing up. So we're the only ones who can save her, then. Fantastic. Pretty. Oh, we Yay. gotta get out of here. It's late. It's late. Okay. <laughs> I am just beat. So then I put on sunglasses. And I bleach my hair blonde. <laughs> and I slick it back. And then I go into some weird revolving room. Anyway, Max Headroom. <laughs> God. 
the entire file has been updated. That was a really, really good info dump we got there. It's a bear plushie. It's a cherished brother which we wants to bring back. Ugh. 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 I mean, I know it takes a village, but Jesus Christ. Ugh. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Oh, not another one. Sounds like it's D-Man again! Looking for hot singles in your area? Let D-Man help. Search the monster that counts the burning air. <laughs> counts the burning air. <laughs> you just go underneath the subway and there's a guy just burning matches just in the air. Now you're thinking too hard about this. I know, Dial it back. I know. Think, think way simpler. Burning air. What could that possibly be? That, I don't know. A S gas counter, of course. Gas meter. What? Yeah. Okay. It counts the burning air. It counts your gas intake. Uh... I gotta read these faster. <clears throat> All right. And uh, go! A scary rumor from K-City just in Sinja. A young woman in a red raincoat appears at Rainy Days in a red light district. She has been telling me, are you, and lures him into the hotel, but do not accept the invitation. Those who do go missing, the crazy or commit suicide after. My assistant M played a large role in uncovering the truth of this rumor. My part-time assistant at the time was still in college, but I had an act for scoops from MZ of you. I digress. A certain man's name came up. I have a cross paths with the police at my work, and I got close to detective while spending a few nights in jail. Technically, he was no longer a detective, but more a private investigator. Regardless, there were two sides to the Riding, Riding Hood case. One, the outcome of the girl's spirit. The other, the darkness that created said spirit. The evil in human form could rob lives and human rights with the power of money. I partnered up the detective spoke such evils out and exposed their needs. I helped expose some evils myself. So, yeah, here we go. Awesome. God, I remember that case. That was great. Oh, yes. The case that almost gave Deathmark an AO rating. <laughs> well again what a day it's like every time he comes in it's just man am I tired let's take another simple shower all that hot white screen action ah uh. Uh, good shower. Good yeah, I was shower. just thinking that he said it like that. What a good shower. Well, you I shouldn't have said that. For, that's done for today's episode of NG. God damn I mean, it. You shouldn't have said that, that N-double. Prob it's probably nothing. N-double, please. Even just dogs, it's nothing. Even you're getting annoyed at this. Just dogs, what they do, they bark. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alright. Urashima woman, look here. I already purified you. So, that means uh, you don't need to be here anymore. So. Hot, look, sexy singles you, in your area. I'll tell you where your baby is if you tell. Ah! Yes! Oh, hi, Kanaka Tsukubita. Hey! <laughs> Just outside your window. Oh, get uh, fucked. Uh, uh, hey, 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 uh. <laughs> this wasn't an actual head. Hey, I don't have any other heads for you, but... Uh... Hmm. Oh, Jesus, yeah. what do you do? What do we do? I mean, we don't have any heads, except our own. Uh... Got head and shoulders, but I don't think she wants that. Uh, how about my knees and toes? Oh! Uh, turn the light on. Alright, we need to quickly get a whole bunch of light on Kubitaro. How do we do that? Holy shit! How do we get a whole light on Kubitaro? Uh, turn the lights on. How do we do- I get the lights on! Uh, b b flashlight on, I guess. Funny. There 
we lived. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> <laughs> Great. Now the cops are going to be called on us, and we're going to be even more suspicious. About that. Really? God damn it. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's our neighbors saying, what the hell's going on in there? <sighs> All right, well, that ought to do it for this episode of NG. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. God damn. <laughs> <sighs> well, we'll see you next time. <laughs>